Eri Pro has done the unthinkable. They actually listened to their customers' feedback and already came out with the new Pro SS 2.0. Now, they won't be listed online as the 2.0. This is just how they come now. So here's how to tell right away that you've got the 2.0. So that's not my 2.0, that's Josh's. Josh won my giveaway, so I flew him from Utah to LA to pick up his new bike and truck because he wanted to drive them home himself. I'm driving to the airport right now to pick him up in my new truck, which I'll reveal at the end of this video. It's time. You ready? The interior is actually so much nicer than I expected. Clean. You date and sign right here. Congratulations, there you go. You're right, that exhaust sounds good. Oh, it's so weird being in the passenger seat. <laughs> For a California trip. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let you unbox it, assemble it. I'm just gonna supervise. This is so nice. The first unboxing video, I just get to sit and watch. <laughs> got the new Eri Pro 2.0 next to the original 1.0. And here are the six ways to tell you've got the new one. Starting off, they got a new front number plate. It's made of this hard plastic as opposed to the flimsy plastic on the original. It looks a lot better. While we're up front, there's also an upgrade for the headlight. They added a switch. So you can actually turn the light on and off. That's the first out of the box bike with a headlight switch. And it was not on the original. The battery lid is a little bit different now. It's a new badge here, which I think looks a lot better than the original glossy badge. And when we pop the hood, you'll see there's a new connector for the main power compared to the original, which doesn't have that same support. I expect the 2.0 connector to last a lot longer. And speaking of batteries, there's a new charger now too. So this is the new Erad Pro SS charger next to the original. It's a little bit smaller, it still has the handle. I think it just looks cooler, better branding, new charger. Even the ignition is new. On the original, the ignition has, it's just normal, just two positions on and off. The new 2.0 actually has a three position key ignition. The middle position turns the battery on and off. The third position turns the bike on and off. When you're running 72 volts, you need every level of protection you can. So they thought that through right there at the ignition, you don't even have to think about it. Here are some even bigger updates to the 2.0. The original e -Ride Pro had a 30 pound spring in the front fork. The new 2.0 has a 45 pound spring in the front fork. So you can put more weight, hit bigger jumps on this front fork. And you can tell the difference by the fact that it says e -Ride Pro right here compared to the original, which says RST. It's really cool to see a more robust front fork right out of the box. In addition to that, you may have already noticed the rear wheel is much fatter now than the front wheel. The original e -Ride Pro SS comes with the same wheels front and rear. The new e -Ride Pro SS 2.0 comes with a fatter tire and rim in the rear. So now we've got an 80-100 in the rear, whereas before it was the same 70-100. This is an upgrade almost everybody does to their bike, especially for dirt riding, so it's really cool to see it come like that out of the box. And perhaps the biggest update of them all, the new e -Ride Pro SS 2.0 has the newest tune update. So the original e -Ride Pro SS, like right out of the box, the very first edition, my biggest complaint was the throttle curve. They quickly updated that and they actually updated it on my original e -Ride Pro SS. So I can tell you this tune feels amazing. It feels more like a BAC compared to a stock bike. The new 2.0 has that same tune, so really nice throttle curve. And 
they decreased the percentage at which the bike starts sagging. Before the bike's power would sag at 45%, now they lowered it to 25%. So you can ride at full power for longer. The new Eride Pro 2.0 just improved almost everything you could want. It looks amazing. It's got a headlight switch. <laughs> Let's take it out. It's the next day Josh is driving here in his new truck. Yeah, the rear tire is so much thicker now. It looks like it's also taller too. You're right, the seat sits a lot higher. That must, wait, yeah, what? Front that tire is so much taller. Your first ride on the e ride Pro SS 2.0. <laughs> you, know, you know the drill though, you just turn the key and um, send it. Send it. Yeah, Josh rode the triple X last night, so he's he's got a feel for it, but this is definitely a level up in power. Yeah, how does it feel compared to the triple X? It's wider. Sits better. For me, I'm a big guy. Yeah. How tall are you? 6'3". Six, 6'3", three. Six, three, how much do you weigh? 230. Okay. <laughs> so that's a great, because I'm not that, so that's a yeah. good, We I want your perspective. So we'll start in eco, you switch that into sport, and then there's that turbo button down there, but I mean, I, I don't really use that, but send it. Let's go, come on. <laughs> Lead the way, we're going left. I'm gonna let Josh ride his new bike first and then I'll, I'll give it a try later and give you my thoughts. We're gonna start off in the dirt and then we're gonna go to this amazing stunt spot we found yesterday. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go in and then go to the right. I'll follow you. <laughs> yeah, right on the new bike. Oh, he's fast. He's a good rider. He's got some experience on uh, dirt bikes, but he doesn't currently own any bike or a car. What are the odds? So now he's got a truck and a bike, and he knows how to ride them. Oh, such nice flowers out. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bird of prey right there. Crazy. There's so many lizards out too. <laughs> Whoa. I'm good. No, nah, dude, take a second. That looked like it hit your chest, huh? It did. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Let's take a second. Let's take a second. Dude, you're ripping. Here, sit down, sit down. That was intense. <laughs> I'm up there and I have all the throttle out. Max. You got right back up, dude. Are you winded from that? No. That's <laughs> so another nice thing about these bikes is you can dump them and usually all you have to do is straighten the bars. Oh, wait, that's pretty loose. So here's my concern is the bars twist so easy that way. I don't think we tightened it. I'll ride this bike, you ride mine. Howdy. All right? Yeah, yeah we're good. Right. Thanks a lot. It's a beautiful day to ride. Yeah, have a good one. You too. All right, I'll jump on the 2.0. Yo, this thing is powerful. This actually feels stronger than the 1.0 I'm riding. They got bike tools and everything. Should we use those? Thank you. Yeah, these were a little loose. We'll say this was why you fell. The th oh. These were a little loose. This is definitely more powerful than the 1.0. I take back what I said about the same tune. It feels smooth, but a lot more power. At least on the low end, it's kind of nice. Yeah, this smokes. <laughs> this smokes Saron out of the box. It smokes Glorious Thing R out of the box. It smokes the Taurus Thing X. I, I hear some kind of noise when you when you hit the throttle. I I hear something. Wait, wait, you hear it? You hear that? That's the noise. Oh, 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 oh. I almost dumped your bike. You can dump mine. It's all right. Just barely using half throttle here. It's, this would be like full throttle on any other bike in this class, unmodified. The suspension feels stiffer. I know you can adjust it, so I'm not gonna expect it to always feel like that, but the front fork is 50% stronger spring, so wouldn't be surprised if it felt stiffer. Dude, Josh rips! It's so fun riding with him! Wow, this is so amazing! What other bike can you take out of the box and ride somewhere like this. Oh my God, there's a lake. I've never been out here. You can ride somewhere like this, 
65 miles an hour. Basically no prior knowledge of riding or dirt bikes or anything. This is the future. This is the apocalypse survival machine. Probably not. I think just a pedal bike would be better actually because you can't charge it. Whoa. I want to live on that like castle in the middle of the lake. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I gotta space out a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I forget how strong this bike is sometimes. It has no problem reminding you. And this is the 1.0. That 2.0 is seriously more powerful. Calm little stunt spot right here. Wait. <laughs> Wait until I get the street tires on. Nice scooter, dude. You trail riding that? Send it, bro. Have a good one. In the slides. In the slides. Dude, this is the one from your video. So you first rode it. Yeah. That's crazy. Hell yeah, you recognize it. Yo, are you Sir Onstar? Dude, I'm Sir Let's start with the drag race. Okay. So lean forward, dude, like like this. Balls to the battery. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Restart, 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 restart. You're the one counting down, how did I go before you? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Okay, they're the same, except he's not getting the wheel up, so. Well, mine has the super motos, so that, oh, that's my fault, that's my fault. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Yeah, this one's faster. Whoa! Oh, it still has the brake sensors. That's it right there. There you go. Oh yeah. That took out the sensor for sure. Wow. Wow! So here, I'm going 15 miles an hour. Let's see if I can pop it up with just throttle. All the way up with just throttle, no body weight. That's amazing. 20 miles an hour. Let's see if it'll pick it up with just the throttle. Yeah, a little bit, not all the way up. But 15. All the way up with no effort. Just as much power as I would be running on a 72 volt Suron. That's the best wheelie I've seen him do yet. Wow, that's really nice. I like the tune. All right, here we go, 2.0. <laughs> we got a bigger rear tire stronger front spring, better battery connector, headlight switch, better tune, more powerful tune, new key ignition. The E-Ride 2.0 is really impressing me. Look at the tire, look at the wheel, it just picks up like that with just the throttle. Super controllable. Really, I'm impressed. Oh, I'm gonna miss this truck. It breaks my heart to give away the Ranger, but I know Josh is gonna enjoy it. Let me show you what my new truck looks like. It's a 2023 Ford F-150 Lariat Power Boost Crew Cab Extended Bed with the Sport 4x4 and Pro Power on board packages. The reason I got a new truck was I needed outlets to be able to charge my bikes on the go. And believe it or not, this truck is a hybrid. It's the only truck on the market that takes gas but still offers over seven kilowatts of onboard charging. And that's only made possible by its hybrid battery. Just to give you an idea how big that is, most trucks offer about one kilowatt from their outlets, but the Power Boost Hybrid with the Pro Power on board package, you need the package, gives you seven, over seven kilowatts from the four outlets in the bed, two in the cab, 
plus a 240 volt outlet so I can fast charge my Varg or even bigger EVs like a Tesla. I can charge eight Surons at the same time driving or parked. Being a hybrid, it's also super torquey, way more so than any GMC or other truck I test drove. I did not get a fully electric truck because they only come with short beds, which is lame. It's not a real truck. And I do long haul drives. I just didn't want to worry about range. Electric's great for bikes. I don't think it's ready yet for trucks. But because it's hybrid, it does get the best mileage of any truck in its class. They claim about 26 miles a gallon. I ceramic tinted it all around, including the windshield, which isn't legal, but neither are these beautiful 17 inch beadlocks that are legally for off-road only, just like my Suron. I'm running 33 inch all-terrain tires and I leveled it out with a two and a half inch lift in the front. Between the level and the wheels, I think it looks mean. Now you might be wondering, why didn't I get another red truck? And the answer is, I think of the truck as a stage for the bikes that it carries, especially for the videos. And I felt like the red truck stood out too much when you have a black bike or really anything in the bed. All you see on camera is the truck. So with a black truck, it's a little easier to appreciate whatever bikes in the bed and black just looks cool, come on. Let me know what you think down below. Did I make the right decision with this? And just know if the Ranger had seven kilowatts of charging, I'd still be driving it. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. I think, ooh. Go get him, bro.